Hello and welcome to the tech sessions. My name is Noman Khan and I'm a solution architect and certified trainer at DVCom Technology. And today tech session we are going to talk about the Yelling T4 series address phone book directory feature. So since Yelling is a very popular IP phones and it offers a very handy contact address book. Address phone book arrange all important business contacts in one centralized and easy access location with Yelling T4 series IP phones. So it offers basically four types of phone contacts that is local phone that are available in XML and CSV. So that is only limited to the phone so you cannot share them with the other another phone. This is what the remote phone book which is based on XML that what we are going to do in this video. And then the LDAP are the Active Directory. So our future videos, we will also show you how you can have the LDAP or Active Directory integration with Yelling phones. Remote phone book, XML directory, how you can do that, what you need to have. First of all, you should have a web server, the local web server that may be on Apache or IIS, Microsoft IIS. You can have to host your URL of the XML file. And you should have a little experience with the XML, like you should know the syntax and the tags. And you should have the small utility on Windows platform, your Notepad++ to edit the XML file. Each time you want to update your centralized directory, phone directory, you can use that. And when it leaves a T4 series yelling IP phones so that you can test out whatever you have done in this video and you can see the final result. Now what I need to do, first of all, I'll go to my notepad++ and this is what the directory, the file structure of the, uh, the XML schema for the phone book directory that Yelling has. And make sure that you type all these tags and pairs. And the first one that I have the menu name is actually you can make it as an a department name. So like I have a support and I'm putting all my colleagues number, the phone, first two phones are blank. I can put their cell numbers, primary cell numbers, secondary cell numbers. And I'm just putting here the extension, the local extension that we call each other's and our daily life. And then I have a sale department. You can see the sale. All the sales professionals are here and I'm just putting their extension. But in actual, you can put the phone numbers of your customers and the other slots that are available to you. And then similarly, you can have for the accounts and the reception. So this is what how the XML directory looks like. And we'll also be putting this template for you so that you can download and you can reuse this one. Once you create this file, upload it to your web root directory. Phone is the web root directory. And this is what the file looks like, the remote phone book.xml. And make sure you don't get any errors. If you are getting errors here, uh, then are you not able to see them in pairs? Like this is what I'm expanding. And so make sure you don't have error. If there is an error, then definitely it will not work for you. So now what I'll do, this is my IP address of the IP phone. Let me log in as an admin with the default password. Yes, and then I will go straight to the directory. Yes, and then I can see on my left side the remote phone book. And this is what the URL is. That what I just copied from this one where I uploaded my XML file remote phone book. And this is what the phone book, you can just put the name phone book a friendly name which you identify it can be anything and just click confirm once you do that let you go to the DSS key and you just make sure that this directory is accessible on the just so we are selecting the phone soft phone key to as XML phone book then this will be available for us from the main keys of yelling phones so let's get back to the phones now that I will show you just let me yes now I'm on the yelling phone as you can see I just press the XML phone and now here is whatever I have created the menu name you know the account the departments uh, let me go into the support department and more details 
uh, press OK. This you can see the number one is added, and you can add more numbers as well. Let me go to another department, and this is what I have decided. So over the all phones, you can once you have this XML directory, only you need to add it at once, and then it will be available on all phones from one single location. I hope you have enjoyed this videos and do put your comments and feedbacks in the comment box. Definitely will answer you if you have any questions related to it. Thank you so much.